I would say Woodstock is a very connected community. There's great parks, there's great schools. What I like about Woodstock is how everyone knows each other. I love the downtown square. It's always a fun hangout spot and there's a bunch of restaurants and just cool businesses. Hello, we're the group improving Woodstock's walkability. I'm Hunter Vassar. I'm Lucas Rubio. I'm Peter Michon. And I'm William Hansen. <laughs> so what is the problem? Well, according to walkstore.com, Woodstock only has a walkability of 29 out of 100. The motivation and the spark for the project uh, really picked up uh, after the students started digging in and started realizing uh, this is a big issue. We began our project with a lot of research, trying to see what factors were the most influential with walkability. We researched all of the most walkable towns or cities within Illinois, and we found what they did and what worked for them. We started collaborating with city council members, most notably Mr. Amen and Mr. Salentano. This one definitely involves the entire community. Everyone discusses the walkability and how they'd like to see it better at first, I really wasn't sure where they would go with it. You all are absolutely on a hot button, you know, issue. Uh, walkability is a constant thing that we hear um, for the city of Woodstock, and we're not we're not unique in that. One solution we've came up with is the addition of crosswalks. One of the biggest challenges that we had was uh, determining which areas in the town had the biggest need for crosswalks or sidewalks. We really found no available resources online. So as a group, we actually designed our own maps of all the crosswalks and sidewalks in the community. This website is called WalkWise. It will allow residents to give input on walkability issues in Woodstock, see these issues that are going on in Woodstock and plan walking routes to avoid these issues. Everything in the Project Lead the Way curriculum has some integral part with real world applications. It's not only engineering, but it's also computer science where the students made the app. Our next solution is implementing little free libraries. They increase foot traffic, which is a key factor in walkability. Another solution that we came up with are colorful crosswalks. They are crosswalks with mosaics that are meant to make the pedestrians that walk on them a lot more visible to drivers. If all these suggestions are implemented, we believe that the sidewalks and crosswalks should give walkable access to amenities within 30 minutes. This will directly positively influence the walk score. The five new Little Free Libraries will increase the total amount by 33%. And according to Washington Post, call for crosswalks should decrease crashes by 50% at applied intersections. I've never been in a, a project this lengthy, this complex. I feel like it's only possible with a group because you can always have partners that are researching something else, finding different solutions, different things that can always benefit your project. I have never heard the concept of colorful crosswalks. That is an exceptional uh, idea. The beautiful thing about this is it's a relatively small investment when you think of, you know, what's happening, yet very impactful. And I the safety numbers and the colorful and the, you know, all of that stuff and just really doing it. And I love the fact that you tied in the little libraries. I have a degree in civil engineering and I realized that even in college, I had nothing that prepared me like this course prepares them. One of the important things that we do is we think about this work, not just as a nonprofit, developed by educators, serving students all across the country, but also think about it as community leaders, as business leaders, as parents. This week we're here to recognize the Project Lead the Way High School Community Impact Award winner, and it is the Walkability Project as designed and developed by Liam, Lucas, Hunter, and Peter. It was a very like team oriented, like we all worked together, like it wasn't like everyone did their own part, like it was very like a lot of cohesion. What makes me so excited about the project is the positive change in Woodstock. I mean, that's crazy to me that high school kids can have an effect. With this project, we can really help the community. And I think that just having that feeling that this project could actually be implemented in the future 